Hello, my name is Jimmy Vegas, and in this mini tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can turn elements of GUI on and off in game using C Sharp scripting. So, firstly, what you're going to need to do is set a key if you've not done already, which uh, would be ideal to use for this. I'll show you what I mean. If we go to Edit, Project Settings, and Input, we have a list of various um, input devices here. So for example, horizontal will be uh, left and right, uh, one being positive, one being negative. Your cancel button is escape. So we need to add one of these. So let's change it to one above what it already is. It will duplicate the last one. So let's change this to something that we um, understand what it is. So in this case, it's gonna be UI button. And I want to put the positive button as U on the keyboard. You can have it as whatever you want. I'm just using U as the example. So once you've got that set, all you need to do is uh, create the script. So if we go to scripts, right click, create C sharp script, and I'm going to call it um, UI on off. So before we go any further, just to make you aware, I've set up this tiny little scene here, just a quick terrain. Um, two bits of UI, in this case a panel with, this is our GUI, and a little crosshair. So this is what it looks like um, when we press play. So that's fine. No problems there. So let's go into our C Sharp script. So within this script we're going to set um, a couple of variables. Um, two variables I think we're going to use, to be honest. That's all we'll need. So I'm going to get rid of the start. Don't need that. Let's get rid of that as well. So uh, firstly, let's set, um, let's see, what should we set first? Let's set the game object. So let's do public game object. And I'm gonna call the game object um, our GUI. Next one, public, and it's gonna be um, an integer. And this is going to be used to measure the status of whether our GUI is displaying or not. So let's have it um, UI status. And remember your semicolons at the end. So in our update, what we're going to need to do is we need to set um, a nested if statement. So we need to see, firstly see if we're pressing the button that we've defined as the UI button. So if input dot get button down is equal, um, sorry not equal, no get button down in brackets, quotes and then we need to put UI button which is the one we defined earlier. If you defined it as something else you put your text in there, then open curly bracket and next we need to put another if statement in here. So if, and we need to see if UI status is equal to one. Uh, no, zero we'll start with actually, sorry, because we'll, yeah, we'll start with zero because when we've defined our GUI, we haven't said it's equal to anything. That means it'll be equal to zero. So zero, if it is zero, what we'll do is UI status, we'll now put that as one. And next thing we need to do is deactivate, uh, sorry, activate our GUI. So, our GUI dot set active and in brackets true semicolon and let's close that and now we need an else statement because we need to define if our UI status is equal to one. So then we do the reverse of what we've just done. So our GUI dot set active false semicolon and UI status equals zero, semicolon. Let's close that else statement. And now let's close our if statement. And this one closes our update, and this one closes the entire thing. So let's save our script. It's only a couple of lines, it's not too intense, not too difficult. So I'm just gonna clear out the consoles couple of errors appeared there not to worry about. So that's our script. So now if we go to game object, create empty, right click, rename, let's just have it as UI monitor. 
So you probably guessed it, drag and drop your script straight onto there. And drag and drop whatever you want in your GUI to be turned on and off. So I'm going to start with the panel. So when we press play, let's press U, and it turns it on and off. So just to prove uh, another one, let's put crosshair instead of the panel. So let's press play. And let's turn the crosshair on and off as well. So that works with any of your GUI. So if, for example, you have a role-playing game and you want your inventory to come up, you can define that button as the cancel button or the escape button, and that will display your inventory. So that is how you can use C Sharp scripting to turn UI elements on and off in game. Thank you very much for watching.